Well, you know, I don't never respond to a guy that's never won a championship. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So, Anthony Edwards has upset an entire generation of basketball stars. The 23-year-old Timberwolf star, Ruffle Feathers, when he said Michael Jordan was the only player with skill during his heyday. That's between 1984 and 1996. Magic Johnson already ripped Edwards in response, saying he doesn't recognize comments from players who haven't won a championship. Now the greatest player in Timbal's history, Kevin Garnett, is chiming in and doing so with respect. He said, you gotta know what you're talking about to be in an argument or be in the discussion of what we are talking about. I root for you, young fella, but know what you're talking about, young fella, because what you say doesn't make no sense. So so that's how Garnett respectfully ended his rant. It began with the Hall of Famer saying most players in the modern game couldn't handle playing in the NBA 20 to 25 years ago. Andy Edwards just said the other day that there really wasn't any skilled players in the NBA back in the day outside of Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Your response to that, Irvin Magic. Well, well, you know, I don't never respond to a guy that's never won a championship. There's not nothing to really say. He didn't win a college championship. I don't know if he even won a high school championship. So he talking about the nineties. Cause we the Kobe era. He also prefaced by saying he didn't watch back then, and he's also 23 years old. So, like, we got to take that yeah. into account. Man. I mean, this is one of the most skilled players to ever play the game. I mean, you know, I, I think that was directed more toward the Jordan era. Because when, you, when, you, when I hear that and I really start thinking about it, I'm like, no, nah, that's not true because you have multiple players who have hella skill. I'm talking about. Come on now, that's pretty much doing the same things they was doing now. You know, we had the guards who was going up doing the stuff that we see D Rose and, and Ja Morant doing. I mean, I seen Baron Davis, Steve Francis, and <laughs> Kevin Johnson doing all that type of stuff. I will say this the, the skill level has gotten better with this generation, but I don't think overall it makes you better player. I think, I think the imagination and the uh, the flair of the game is not the same. You, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't play as much basketball as we did. They work out individually. We played five on five, and our creativity for the game was a lot better in our era. Cause like, who's a showman? Who would you consider like a showman of today? Like Kyrie, maybe with the dribbles. Yeah, and Jaw. Uh, High flying job. I mean, when you say Kyrie, there was Rod Strickland at it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when think about the about creativity. Hops, never seen Vince Carter. He, I'm like, exactly. Hey, like Vince Carter, we never seen nothing like that. That was something different. I mean, Magic Johnson, white chocolate. I mean, nobody, we don't see people pass the way J. Kidd did. Like, it was, it's like unreal. Like, we don't see that type of creativity no more, you know? So my question to you is when you see youngsters go, man, I didn't watch, so I don't, is it, is it important for youngsters oh, it's gonna to go back to what uh, We got to go back to Tickets Fame is saying to me, you ain't watching the games, Lord. <laughs> you ain't watching the games, Lord. <laughs> you ain't going back watching the games, Lord. <laughs> if I'm being honest, bro, I don't think anybody in this generation could have played like 20 years ago. If I'm being 100, and this is to Ant, this is to everybody in our league, Tatum, all y'all. Let me tell y'all something, bro. 20 years ago, bro, you couldn't get to a triple step back. Nah. You hear what I'm saying to you? You couldn't get to a triple step back, and then if you shot that shit, it had to go in. You know why? Because we had, we had efficiency back in the day, my dude, and it was so fucking hard. It was too physical. And guess what? The league had to come off of it for the flow of movement to be able to have scoring go up, which is why we like to sit here and watch kind of the rat race of the high pace game, right? But bro, let's not talk about the gamingship and let's not talk about the physicality of the game back then. Real shit, because I only think half these kids in the league could have been on an NBA team 20 years ago. Straight up. The locker room was too, it was, it was, it was too grown. You know what I watched too? You it know what I watched? It was too grown, it was too of them, it was too much of a, 
of a fraternity. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. Just like the it, hand check. How, how no, bro. It was a different. It was a different. It was a different um, vibration. David Stern did a great job of taking all of the physicality out of the game. You understand? Freedom of movement means freedom of movement. Man, back in the day when you had to get by Paul because Paul was squared up with you and ready to slide, and then he could body you, he could poke, he could use his hands, but I can use my hands, I can fight through a screen. Bro, the shit that we saw in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the Olympics was similar style play when the guard can ride you damn near over the pink, yeah. and, and if you don't know how to get out of that, and, and a nigga like uh, uh, Holiday, when he come out and he get over, he there. Right. So if you're going to cross him, bro, you don't even, that's what I'm saying, bro. Man, the, 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 um, the levels in which you had to be not only strong enough, but skilled enough to get by this nigga in front of you. You understand? And then, they ain't never seen a 6'7 Rodman guard you. Bro, I see you, I see you. And you know, you're in a scout report. We know you go left. We know you can finish right, but you go left to pull up. Bro, everybody knows. Bro, niggas watching the games back then. Them, the Isaiah Thomas and the Dumas, man. Dumas shut Jordan down. Bro, they was coming they was to the a, lane, think, bro. You I might think. get your nose broke trying to dunk. You understand? Dwayne Wade broke Cole's nose in the All-Star game. Man, bro, it was just different. It was, it was very different back then, bro. Real shit. I'm talking about in the locker room. You can't be on your phone in the locker room. You can't. Bro, 20 years ago? Nah, nobody in this era could have played 25 years ago. We said that. And I'm talking about not just the play and all the skill that everybody got. Actually, was taught was called bad shots and lack of efficiency. It was until they start fucking with all the data and saying take more threes than twos. Before then, we played ball, bro. We didn't give a fuck about all that other shit. And the GM couldn't come down and say, put into a game plan with a coach like Doc or Dan Tony. Talking about we trying to get touches and test the paint. Bro, we, I, I, I didn't see. Yeah, it's hard to we, say we, more we, skill. That's what I'm trying to say. Nobody bro, in could, this era has a mid range. Bro, you couldn't get no nobody. Nobody in this era has a post game. And the ones that do <laughs> look amazing. Right. Look yeah. at Shea. Shea got a mid range. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's only like a few of them got. That's what like, I'm saying, bro. Two dribble pull up. Yeah, they don't try to do. Okay, young fella, if you hear me, and then y'all exhaust the ball. Y'all are dribbling the air out of the ball. Right. Y'all dribble the ball a hundred times more than another nigga. Right. Catch it off the bounce. One dribble, two dribble, pull right. up. Let me see you do that off the bounce. Right. Let me see your skill work off that. I ain't even known it like this, but bro, you can't come from niggas and not expect the rebuttal on shit. Bro, real shit, it was totally different. And you had to have that work, and you had to yeah. really work on your shit. And it wasn't no, you was out two, three games. Man, your teammates, hey, bro, what you doing tonight? You going? Nah, I can't go, man. My toenail off, man. I can't. Nah, bro, you can't nah. even come in here and lead no niggas nah. like that. You hear nah, me? Nah. So you had to strap it up and you had to get out here. You had to dive on the floor. You had to get in the rumble. Yeah. Right. right. Real shit. Right. You had, man, it was men leading men. Yeah, ain't none of these niggas been in no lockout. And Anthony Edwards don't know what's going on with the lead policy. This, bro, you, you understand what I'm talking about? The leader, bro. Man, I, I yeah, can't even bro, have this can't conversation. Say this. You can't say this. You can't even same. say it if it you ain't watch. It, it ain't the same. It ain't the same. Like, then you say, say I didn't that, watch? And that, don't say you didn't oh, watch. Man, Jordan, the only one has skill? You, all right, all yeah, right, I know yeah. you didn't watch the game. I know you didn't watch. But him didn't saying watch. that. Yeah, so, you can't say you know that. Respect say you to the watch. young fella, man. I don't get on here, and we don't use this platform to, to douse anything, but I'm not going to start yeah, the cooning. Gotta, I'm here to elevate the game. I'm here to help the young players elevate themselves, but yeah, it's always different eras. And when you hear Michael Jordan and some of the greats talk about the different eras of play, the, the 80s were different from the 70s, the 70s were different from the 60s, the 60s was different from the 50s. But in all of it, it had gamership, it had aggressiveness, and it had stuff that came with it that you didn't really hear about that you hear now. Man, shit. Yeah. Shh. Half these motherfuckers can't even be in the locker room. Half these niggas coming from no parents and, and, and one mom and all, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas got their mom and dad and a lot of these niggas ain't even outside, my nigga. <laughs> Man, I'm really from the park, man. I'm, I'm really, I'm park. really, I'm from Basswood. I really did play at Springfield <laughs> park, park. You know right. what I'm saying? Cleveland Park, all the parks. Right. I really was at Argyle. Right. I really was on 16th. I really was hanging out on Ridgeway. Like, I'm, I'm saying that to say that, yeah. Like, man, it, it was different times. So when I hear these things, they, they don't add up because it was a different time of how you played, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then there was a lot of two-way players back then that was real niggas. 
I'm talking about stars. I'm talking about Gary Payton, the, J- the Jason Kidds, the, the Michael Jordans, the Grand Hills, the, 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 the McGrady's and the Coves, the, you know what I'm saying? The TDs, the C. Webs, the, the, the Rasheeds, the... He must have been talking about like the 60s or nah, something. He, nah, Lord, he feeling himself, and I like that. I like that he feels good, but when you're a savant and you're talking to the league and you're spitting st- different shit, nah, you got to know what you're talking about. Right. To be in the argument or to be in the discussion of what we're right. talking about. Right. But to say that they're most skilled, shit. 20 years, you couldn't get to a triple step back. All that shit, James Harden and all that shit. And then, too, if you was dribbling the air of the ball, bro, nigga told you straight up, hey, man. man come on, man. Swing it, man. What, what you doing? doing? What you doing? Come Five on, more dribbles, you out here? Hold on, I got it. Back don't it up. Miss, what? Don't miss. And then don't we miss. had plays right. that you had to remember. And if you could, and if you can't remember the plays, you couldn't be out here. It wasn't all this switching shit. You had actually strategy to where the strategy had to go to two, five, uh, two and four, y'all three and four, y'all doing this. Yeah, you had yeah. to, man, you had a list of shit that you had to be responsible yeah, for. for. Sure that. Not some, oh, I didn't forget. And you know what? Fuck it, just throw him out there because he's good. Nah, bro, it was a whole nother level of shit. So, you know, right. know what you're speaking about. But yeah, I root for you, young fella. Just know what you're talking about, young fella. Because that you said don't make no sense. 